Hello everyone, my name is Mark Braswell. I'm an artist living in Denver, Colorado. Uh, if you like my content, my videos, uh, please like and subscribe. You can also visit my website, which is markbraswell.com. I'm continuing on this abstraction. Uh, it has actually come a long way. You saw the beginning of it, and I think you saw a little bit of the middle. Uh, I'm not done. Today what I want to do is I want to solidify two areas which I think will help the balance of a painting. Uh, so the first one is this kind of weird fish shape that's right here. I want to uh, make it more bold with a, a definite shape. And then I want to take this same gray and kind of cover all of this and then come back and paint all of these individual lines. I don't know if you can see all these lines that are right there. Uh, maybe different shades of gray so it kind of moves a little bit. Uh, there is this scene in the movie Chernobyl right before it blows up where they show the main cover of it and there are all these kind of uh, square poles that are going up and down like this and it's kind of what I was thinking about, something that is gridded and can move up and down, but obviously it's pain, so no go. But uh, I thought you might enjoy watching for a little bit, and like and subscribe, and ask me any question you want. This morning I'm listening to very minimal techno. It's one of my favorite things. I won't name the person. So what I'm doing here is I'm just, I have some white already pulled out here and then I'm taking some black and I'm creating that gray. Because uh, this is the same gray that's up there right now. And as you can see, since I'm painting in a big atmosphere, I am i don't have little dabs of paint here and there. When I am doing an area, I'm going to need a lot of paint for that one area. So we'll see how this goes. The nice thing about putting it in a pool with more white is if I need it lighter, I can make it lighter, and if I need it black, I can just dip back into that. So here we go. I've already moistened this. And as I've told you many times before, the reason I would spray it is it makes the paint go easier. It also, uh, it just makes a smoother transition. Okay. these circle shapes I did these with yeah, I have these circle shapes I did it with that uh, acrylic pen and I love going in and keeping that line but painting around it that way it sets that line back further and that's really interesting I'm slightly overpainting certain things because I can always come back in here with black and redefine that.
kind of like that. I didn't see this part. I didn't see this part before. I, I want to keep some of the background, but I don't want all of it. So now I'm going to go back down here and just put kind of a wash. this off because um, to me right now it needs way too much white so I kind of want a gray here and maybe go to a little bit darker I want to paint it so you can see it Burped on YouTube. <laughs> okay. So I'm kind of liking it. It definitely needs to go darker. I'm just going to come back to my black in here. And since there's already some light gray in there, I'm going to go a little bit darker than I think I should. Smell the brush. Noticing this. 
I have this kind of circular thing going right here. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll just connect it somehow that way. I like that. So now I'm going to get rid of this curve. Well, I like that. Okay. I think it's really coming along. Let me know what you think. I'm going to bring out some more elements and push some back and forward. Uh, but thank you for watching. I enjoy doing these for you guys. And you can comment, text me, like, and subscribe. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye.